Welcome to AC Electric Company. We not only emphasize safety in our vision statement, but we also make it a priority every day on the job. Many employees operate AC-owned motor vehicles as part of their jobs, and each driver is expected to drive the vehicle safely as well as adhere to the responsibilities I will soon elaborate on. AC Electric Company has over 150 vehicles on the road each day. These AC vehicles contribute to over 2 million miles driven per year. All this time spent on the road gives operators of these vehicles ample opportunities to drive safely and courteously and avoid vehicle collisions. Anytime an AC employee is involved in a collision, it is not only a cost to the bottom line, but also leads to downtime on your job. Although important, your personal safety is not the only incentive to driving carefully. AC drivers also need to take into consideration that reckless driving puts others in danger, costs the company valuable money and time, and reflects poorly on the image of AC. In other words, AC vehicle damage leads to costly consequences that both directly and indirectly affect the entire company. Aside from safety and courtesy being the expectation of AC drivers, there are other responsibilities that employees are expected to adhere to. The use of seatbelts is mandatory for all drivers and passengers. AC drivers must submit weekly maintenance checks on their assigned vehicle by using the AC Motor Vehicle Checklist app in SNAP no later than Monday. AC drivers must coordinate routine maintenance, repairs, and or report deficiencies with their Division Material Equipment Coordinator. AC drivers must maintain a clean and orderly vehicle both inside and outside as well as conduct a 360 vehicle walk around. If an AC driver is taking four or more days off from work or if the supervisor requests it, AC employees must return the vehicle to the shop for use by others. Finally, all drivers are expected to adhere to state and local regulations, vehicle code, AC Electric Company Code of Safe Practices, and the cell phone use policy when operating company motor vehicles or any other vehicle on AC business. Operators of AC vehicles may be designated a vehicle for day-to-day -day activities. However, employees who are not assigned a daily use vehicle may need to check out a pool vehicle to complete a specific task. There is a designated individual in each division that manages the keys of the pool vehicles. You are responsible for returning the vehicle in as good, if not better, condition as when you checked it out. For example, do not leave the gas tank below half full return the gas card to the glove box, and keep the cabin clean. In order to prevent avoidable collisions, all operators of AC vehicles are required to do a 360 walk around to check the vehicle prior to driving. This gives the employee the opportunity to double check the vehicle for any safety hazards and new damages prior to beginning their drive. During the 360 check, the driver should be asking themselves the following questions while closely examining the vehicle. Are there any new dents or marks on the vehicle? Are the tires in good condition including the tire tread? Are there any signs of fluids leaking? Are all the tools and materials properly secured, stored away, and all bins and doors locked? This 360 check procedure is crucial because it not only helps ensure the security of equipment, but it also helps AC employees piece together when and where any new damages to their vehicle took place. For example, if an employee 360 checks the AC vehicle at 11 a.m. in the parking lot and it is dent free, but they come back to their vehicle at 12 p.m. and it has a new dent, they will be able to notify the AC safety department of the time and location when this dent occurred. When finished with the 360, drivers must place a small safety cone on the hood of their vehicle.